talk about wokeness and how everything woke turns to shit and how Victoria's Secret is dumping their feminist model because fat mads aren't buying their sexy lingerie because nobody wants to see them in it. You know, it's almost like if you put a whale in sexy lingerie, it still looks like a fucking whale and the lingerie looks less sexy. Yeah, well, it looks like it took uh, Victoria's Secret a few years to catch on, but they're finally doing it. Victoria's Secret ditches prioritizing wokeness over sexiness after sales drop. Well, no fucking shit. But before we get into the article, guys, make sure you smash that like button and make sure you subscribe. Lingerie chain Victoria's Secret is reportedly ditching its woke feminist makeover of recent years and hasn't translated into business success. Yeah, lingerie, regardless of what any woman fucking tells you, is for a man. And I don't mean for these weirdo men to fucking wear it. I mean for women to look sexy for their men. And if you caught my Matt Walsh coverage, there are a bunch of beta fucking cucks. And a bunch of dudes that have left the fucking dating market. Or who, guys who are traveling overseas. With 40% of women expected to be single in the next six years. And I don't mean temporarily. Since the brand decided to move away from its hypersexualized image of businessoffashion.com described it in a recent article, Victoria's Secret has seen a significant revenue drop. As such, it has looked to revamp itself and bring sexiness. Fuck, I can't talk today. As such, it has looked to revamp itself and bring back sexiness, the outlet noted, in a piece that was also published by editorial partner CNN Tuesday. So hold on. Are you trying to tell me that double lard on the right is not sexy? What a misogynist. However, that left one, though. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, it's almost like, uh, you know, when I say lingerie is meant for men, and I quoted how it was meant for men by saying women are supposed to wear it for men, that's not a fucking joke. Nobody wants to see the thing on the right wear it, but everyone wants to see the woman on the left wear it. Kathleen Chen reported that the brand's effort to promote inclusivity, which included making alphabet pro-women soccer player and outspoken leftist Mag Megan Rapinoe, fuck that stupid ass fucking bitch, as well as a trans woman, brand spokesmodels, and getting rid of its famous angel supermodels, gained favorable reviews from online critics that never translated to sales. Yes, they're finally figuring it out. That these people have 500 different fucking accounts online and will literally just sit there on all 500 accounts and give you likes and comments to say how fucking fantastic you are, but in all reality, it's one fucking weirdo with blue hair that has more fucking fat than a whale. But no, don't listen to the fucking people who actually pay for your fucking shit. According to the numbers, the lingerie brand's projected revenue in 2023 is $6.2 billion, which is 5% lower than it was last year, and even lower than 2020 when the brand's revenue was $7.5 billion. It's still a lot of fucking money. I mean, a billion and a half dollars lost because you, uh, Adopted shit like this. Introducing Victoria's Secret and Pink Adaptive. Now, for people who have a logical mind would think adaptive, oh, like, it adjusts. No. I mean people that are actually disabled. And this sounds more like a fucking fetish than somebody making something for somebody who's disabled. Right? Like, why do you have to specialize in someone in a fucking wheelchair for lingerie? They can literally wear everything in this photo. There is no reason they can't. Uh, quick smash or pass? Smash, 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 smash. Okay, going back to the article. When they have their little uh, gif on the right here of a one-armed woman. Again, she could wear everything in that photo I just showed. She doesn't need a fucking special bra. The drop in Victoria's Secret sales also followed the company's move to make its board of directors mostly female. What a bunch of morons. Never trust a woman to tell you what a man thinks is sexy or what a man fucking wants. Because it ends up in shit like this with Megan Rapinoe, who's fucking disgusting and just a terrible person. In 2021, Rapido called out what the brain had been before the revamp, claiming it had been, claiming it had sent out a really harmful message that was patriarchal sexist, viewing not just what it meant to be sexy, but what the clothes were trying to accomplish through a male lens and through what men desired. Yes. Yes. Again, women wear lingerie for fucking men, regardless of what they fucking say. 
And it was very much marketed towards younger men. Bullshit, but yes, but also bullshit. In the fashion outlet, Chen noted that the lingerie company's attempt to stop the financial drain body positivity marketing was causing was to bring back its runway show format and blend the sexiness the brand had become famous for with some of its more inclusive initiatives. For what? I mean, I, I guess, like, if it, it doesn't fucking matter, as long as you have any sort of fucking hip, if you have anything from the belly button down, you can wear fucking sexy panties. Shit, even half these fucking Victoria's Secret models don't actually have tits, they're all push-up fucking bras, and that's what they sell. But it doesn't matter, because we're still gonna look, and if we have a woman, we're still gonna buy them for her. She described the Victoria's Secret, the tour 23, as a display that fell somewhere in between the personification of male lust of the brand's aught ears, heyday, and inclusive utopia promoted by its many disruptors. So they're admitting that women buy this shit for fucking men? Is that is that kind of what's, uh, what's happening? It's kind of what it sounds like. Victoria's Secret and Pink Brand President Greg... Unis summed up this new direction for the company, reportedly telling investors sexiness can be inclusive. No, sexiness is inherently exclusive because not everybody is fucking sexy. And this is just some of that fucking weirdo woke talking points. He explained, sexiness can celebrate the adverse experiences of our customers and that's what we're focused on? What? The, the only diversity... Uh, what the fuck does that even mean? Sexiness can celebrate the diverse experiences of our customers, and that's what you're focused on? No! You should be focused on making fucking sexy lingerie that women look good in and that men want to see. That is your only fucking selling point. That is that is only what you should be focused on. Chief Executive Martin. Let me scroll back up so there's something at least nice about this article. Chief Executive Martin Waters also reported, reportedly admitted that the inclusive, inclusivity initiatives were not profitable for the company, stating, despite everyone's best endeavors, it's not been enough to carry the day. No fucking shit. According to Business of Fashion, the company's new goal is to improve profitability and cross back over $7 billion in annual sales to meet this objective the brand plans to roll out activewear and swimwear, updating its existing stores, and open up 400 new outside of the U.S. Oh, there's hope outside of the U.S. And look, we can get in how to the average woman in the U.S. is like 5'3 or 5'4 and 170 fucking pounds. And that's probably why those fat shelves exist in these stores. But it's not the rest of the world. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Victoria's Secret did not immediately respond to Fox Business's request for comment. This is the New York Post. So this get ripped off of Fox News, probably. No, oh, yeah, they're right there at the top by Fox Business. <clears throat> anyway, fuck you, New York Post. I know this is your sad attempt to uh, bitch and complain about fat mads being fat and mad. But sexiness is not inclusive. It's inherently exclusive. And people want sexy. They don't want this fucking weirdo shit. Even the feminists don't fucking want it. And I can prove it in less than 30 fucking seconds. Okay? Anita Sarkeesian. I laughed and did a whole fucking video about how it was great she had to shut down her feminist frequency radio. But here we go. These are the avatars that they chose for their channel. Now we're going to say that they are generated or they were created to look sexy and stunning, right? They're not fat tubs of lard. They're not disgusting land whales. They're not old haggard bitches. They're not, uh, how should we put this? Disgusting rotting sacks of human flesh. But here's them in real life. And I say them because... As far as I know, only one of them is actually a woman. I have questions about the other two. <clears throat> but that that's it. They fucking know. They know that they can't put them ugly selves up on the fucking internet and expect anybody to watch. They've got to put that fucking sexy avatar 
right? The one that makes themselves feel better because that's not what they are because they're actually disgusting people and try and confuse you. But my God, if there are any fucking women watching, please do yourself a favor. Go to the fucking gym. Do some extra squats. And if you're a dude, get off your fat fucking ass, go to the fucking gym, and lift weights until you're fucking skinny. Or until you have fucking muscles. That outweigh the fucking fat. That's all you have to do. Quit being fat. Yes, it's that fucking easy. But now that I'm done making fun of fat weirdos, <laughs> guys, smash that fucking like button for me. Make sure you subscribed. And if you hated or loved my rants, I want to hear that shit in the comments section. And uh, maybe you should share this video. Maybe somebody else will find some humor in my videos because uh, everybody needs a laugh every now and then. But until the next one, guys, be easy like sleazy.